it goes in, gets a little handball to no one in particular. Now Richmond to tidy up. It was well done initially by Moore. Now Greek got caught. Oh, Took one or two steps too many. Good spot up. Oh. Jenkins probably oh. hasn't quite got the length. Well, he spreads it to a man that may have sure. the length, to be honest. Oh, he's a long way out, though, isn't he? The pressure's been really good, Adelaide, making Richmond kick down the line to a contest. So Seedsman off a couple of steps. Long, long, long. It's a goal. He had it all right. Tiger pressure. Castagna again. This time he's able to pick it up. Slid the handball to Martin. Martin's attacked from left and right. So many quick players. Short's one of those. Alice, long ball in. This is a good double team here by Adelaide, but not so much on the ground. Pressure able to bust the tackle. Here comes Jack. He marked it well last week, and he's still got the sticky mix. If he kicked it on his left foot, sees when he would have been right there. And now is that Rioli? It is. That's apt, isn't it, in this week? To Lynch, he's the linchpin, and they love him to link it up. Handball to Douglas, hammering ball from Douglas, very deep and just too big, and in a really good position as Jenkins plays on. So Jacobs, Martin onto it, and then hooking back. What a beautiful kick! Oh, it was really to a spot, wasn't it? Rather than the man. Lynch tried to duck under the man Curvis tackle, got himself in a bit of a bind, and he just belched it forward. The interception here by Higgins. Rewalt looking to create a bit of a free there. Umpire alert to that. Butler, little handball. It just flicked off his hands now. The Tigers players everywhere. Spills to Moore. Moore around the body in the running goal. Tigers have got it. Now winning clearances as well. So big question marks here about Adelaide. Moore's been really impressive. Great pick up. Edwards, beautiful kick to Caddy. Little handball, good to Butler. Butler inside, well done by Duda. He's impressed with this youngster. Good twist and turn from Crouch. Oh, Butler did what all good Butlers do, didn't he? They just keep coming. They keep scragging. They keep hanging on. Now Butler goes to short. He loads up from 50. That's on target. They just keep coming and coming and coming. Peggy O'Neill and Benny Gale down through Dimmer. Kicked by Edwards to 4-4. Four, four. Oh, nearly checked. That would have been something. This might top it off. He's floating, floating, floating. A goal. Oh, yes. And you're right, it's three and a bit goals. Walker belting the ball back. Ellis to Broad. Short. And does the little dinky kick. Lambert half volleys and then runs hard and creates some havoc to Ellis. Have a look at the overlap to Grigg. All working together to Prestia. Prestia kicking it wide. Edwards, still with Edwards. Left foot. How's that for a goal? Laird coming back after a couple of weeks and Lynch. So let's see what they've got to offer. Fogarty having a, a difficult first half in his first game at the MCG. Tex says, a bit of water over the hamstrings. A little bit on the calves. Gee, I wonder what, what that does. Do you want me to comment about that? I've got no idea what that be, What that. would that do, Doc? Might well, be a bit of penetrating, a bit of heat. <laughs> that was water, Richo, wasn't it? <laughs> Picked off by Brown, and then Brown dashing away. Walker doesn't quite get into the frame. Now he can paddle towards the line with Asprey. And that's a boundary throw in. <laughs> and he wouldn't have liked that. <laughs> no. <laughs> but able to elude the tackler. Now centers at Rewalt. The target could fly over the top on that occasion by Duday. And he's been winded as he's hit the deck. Didn't quite get it there. He wanted it just a little deeper. Laird combining in the middle now. Genie. This is a little snappy kick. That's better to walk up. He's within tech range, tech range here. Directly in front. Needs a bit of momentum in the run up. Got it from inside of the square. A crisp, a really crisp kick. Little one picked up in the end by Fogarty. They're out and now they move the ball forward. Now a little bit of pressure. Hampton hasn't done much. Grimes, first of all, plants the body. Then he goes to win the footy. Good handball to Caddy. Grimes, neat little kick. Well done. Gets it wide to Short. Short's got such a lovely leg, we know that. Goes inside. Had a couple of opportunities. Dusty with a long, long special one.
got through Duday. He hasn't done much wrong tonight. Sat for Caddy. Had Martin decided not to go there. Goes inside to Lambert. To Rioli. Rioli at 50 metres. High, long, handsome. A Rioli goal to the punt road end. Neat kick to Douglas. Douglas's handball to Gibbs. And then Gibbs with a lovely looking kick. It should be a goal. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, can you believe it? Almost got over, did get over Talia. Caddy kept it in, good hands. Butler, clever, running hard, bouncing, teasing, teasing, goaling. Run in to the other. Quick release there from Higgins and the kick back inside. Here's the man we speak of, Lambert. Goes long, good looking ball in there as well. Almost Rioli off hands, Martin. Snap goal, got it. Dusty a couple. Ninth time for the Tigers. Very similar scoreline to the grand final. Run down, free kick. And you know who? <laughs> I reckon Cyril somewhere's watching this and saying, yep, yeah, well done, cuz. <laughs> Holding the ball. So the Tigers do what the Demons did in 1956. 17 in a row. And Melbourne won five premierships in six years. Who knows what's in front of this team?